Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy, Ancient African Wisdom for the Modern Sister. Ancient African Wisdom. I was already getting the wisdom that I had to create from the getting of the wisdom. I created my life. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're going to talk about fashion today. We're going to talk about beauty. We're going to talk about fashion. We're going to talk about what my fashion style is in Accra. It is um, not quite five in the morning on the East Coast in the United States, but I'm in Ghana. So I'm four hours ahead. And when it's daylight saving time come, I'm going to be five. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you an outfit of the day, how I'm embracing my new body, and uh, why I really love to express my idea of fashion in Ghana. So... Uh, as many of you know, I did something new this month, the Mother's Day month of May. I decided to, what did I decide to do? I decided to, um, I decided to take the whole month, uh, I saw off, I mean, only from being, off from being the only instructor in my academy, Afro, uh, Blackberry Beauty Academy. I usually teach these once a month intensives based on different topics that I think black women need. Uh, and desire, and I decided to take a break and to invite guests, instructors, talented sisters from our tribe, talented sisters that's right from the comment section, like y'all, uh, to teach. And it's been great and beautiful and successful. And getting the word out is a little slow, but we will continue this. We want to. We're gonna have. Just want to teach you tree lessons and the language of Ghana and other things that I think. So I'm looking definitely for uh, online teachers. If you are interested, I will leave that in the description box, but you can just go to the T-H-E Blackberry Beauty at gmail.com and tell me what you teach and let's see if we can, if we are fit. I do pay my teachers and uh, there you go. So classes must be from one to two hours or you know, it could be anywhere in between, but it must be minimum one. And then our master class must be available live for Sunday from one to two or one to three. And if you have handouts, that's always great. We love that as well. Get in touch with me. I'm excited. Uh, so yeah, so this next Sunday, which is the day after tomorrow, is the beauty, y'all, the beauty one. Hey, y'all, the beauty, the beauty. We're doing the beauty. We're calling it makeup, but it's really about beauty, y'all. And I, I'm telling you, my beauty, my style, was made for Africa, like I, or made by Africa in a lot of ways. The way I thought and I was, the way I came up, the way my fashion sense in the United States, when I come to Ghana, like it just, look, all of this, including the hair and the beads, I got from Ghana, like my, my hair is purple. I made my own little bang, this part fell. I might put it back up or I might let it just fall. I'm gonna create the bang in different ways. We make it, you know, I'm just going to really work it out. So, yes, y'all, I first of all, style, loving the twist, loving the purple twist. Never had two-strand two twists uh, in braids before, and absolutely, okay, so that fell. Let's see what we're going to do with it. That way? No, we want to do it this way. See that we can create that. I'm going to sweep it down more. And whatever we want to do, we just created another layer to the bag. And I just pin it down. And oh, we just did there. We just did it. So, you know, I could take that up more, which I might do, make it more. Anyway, yes, I'm loving. Actually, I think I will. Let's pin that up. I just happen to have pins around. This is what I do. I, just, well, I mean, I be getting inspired just, just from nothing. Just wake up. This is my mind by traveling. And then I get inspired and then I start creating stuff. Oh, see, that one needs a little help. But we're going to leave it there. Okay. So, yes, y'all know I'm about to end it. So, yes, I, these are, uh, these are two strand twists. Uh, that I got in Ghana. They call this style when they do the two strand 
and it looks like this. They call it Rasta. So you know they're gonna say, oh, you should get your Rasta. I wanna get you Rasta. I thought it was like faux box when you say Rasta, but here is the twist or anything like this. This is Rasta. And then the beads, you know I love beads and they love beads too. She was like, I'm gonna dash you. I want you to have some beads for this style, so beautiful. You know I had the ponytail back. So now I can like create my own things. So I got the idea and I'm gonna do some more. I just like playing with hair. So one of my go-tos in Ghana, y'all, is extensions. I don't care what y'all say. I love, love, love extensions. That's just one of my looks because I could go low cut, which we're going to do soon. But right now, I'm having too much fun. And I got so many creations. Another thing is my new go-to. Like, I think I will always, when I get braids, I have to have them now. Color. You can't see how purple this is when you go outside. The purple shows, but I love that it doesn't kind of indoors. It's like a surprise, and I love color. I'm going to get the red next time, and I don't know what other colors I'm going to get, but I'm loving purple. If they have a blue, I'll get a blue. Oh, blue is going to look beautiful. What a great way to change color. And I have to change your hair color. Yes, love it. Ooh, love it. So, outfit. Now, this is what I would wear if the, if the, if the, Quarantine wasn't, the pandemic wasn't so, you know, pandemic, and, and, you know, we were going out at night or, you know, listening to live music or what have you, I would wear this outfit I'm going to show you today. So, first of all, I got some shoe, real shoes on, and I would wear this bag. I got this bag from the art center. So, let me just show you. This is how I would rock out with this here. Yeah, with this here. So, I love them. No, I love two tops. I actually have one like this in the States, but this one I got here. And it stays up perfectly in these pants. And that actually from the Heart Center. These shorts. Y'all think my hoodie's coming back. I think it's partially coming back. I feel better. I'm just feeling some butts, actually. But anyway, uh, I love, love, love these shorts. They actually, let me show you. And the hair, y'all, look at how the hair just, whoa. And the hair hit back there. I love these shorts because I love the pockets too. Pockets, the pattern, art center. These shoes I got from the stays or something. Now one pair of shoes I decided to bring. All the rest are in the states. The sandals. And then this beaded bag handmade in Ghana. This bag, this bag is a little heavy, but it's dope. And so this is an evening out. An evening out in Ghana. Dinner, listen to live music. This is my Ghana look. I've decided to embrace my little thinness here and just enjoy it right now and be the model. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I love you. I love you right now. So. <laughs>
Hey, y'all. Sorry. I don't know what that was. I don't even know why that was. And I'm checking this Wi-Fi and uh-oh, something, something ain't right. We're going to figure what ain't right. We're going to make it right. Okay, but don't worry. I'll put it in later. So anyway, uh, hey, Sheila, let me put y'all up here. Zumba Queen, good morning. Serene Grand Rising, you look so beautiful, me, Darcy. Hey, Lisa Marie, love the outfit. Thank you, Sheila. I love the outfit on you. Beautiful. Thank you, Kate Butterfly. Yes, y'all, I'm having fun with my style. I'm having fun with my beauty. I'm having fun with myself, period. Like, enjoying what it brings, enjoying my lifestyle. Like I was saying, like, we got to have a, we got to have a, 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 a stage, a, no, a channel, a blog, a blogging or something where we could really have like grown woman folk conversations. And the only way that I could think about it is to do a master class, right? A master class on how I feel like my idea of love, sex, relationships have morphed into or evolved into a more grown perspective. Not just, and even of sexuality as far as me being a woman and what a 52 year old woman and what that looks like for me in Africa, what does that look like for me in general? What does that mean for me? How my whole idea of my, my life is so less, so much less complicated. Uh, it's actually not complicated, you know, and my life in the States and money of our lives. I mean, we put it, what, what's the status? It's complicated, right? Has been complicated, uh, but here, no, it's not complicated. It's everything is sensible, everything in a sense the way I can see it makes sense and it takes away from a lot of anxiety, a lot of a lot of lying to yourself, a lot of self-denial that you don't really have to do. And uh, so yeah, I, I love the freedom. I feel so free. I feel sometimes you think you're free and you even say, well, I'm free to choose, but you realize then you never you, you, why do you have, if you're in a free country and you feel so free and you're free to choose, why do we have so much of a time choosing? Why is it for many of us, especially stateside, to, to choose? I don't, because I think it's still that psychological game playing, that psychological wordplay, that psychological propagandize do media ways of the way you're supposed to be as whoever name it and they got a way you're supposed to be you're supposed to be this way black woman and that black it's just it's amazing and when you start realizing that you get to choose for yourself not only that but get to know yourself and feel free of all the other selves that you put upon you or you living through you start being like oh yes like what does it look like for me as a 50 year black woman in Ghana, in Accra? It looks like freedom. It looks like fashion. It looks like love. It looks like joy. It looks like creativity. Trying new things, being, meeting new people, learning new languages. Like, that's me. That's me. And then I guess maybe it's always been. I can see how I got to where I am so I can trace it and see that it has. But I don't in the past, I didn't have the freedom to, to say that was what it was. I didn't have the freedom to say that. I didn't know enough freedom to say that. I never saw nobody say, I'm an alternative to what is the society says you are, in a sense, and not have to fight for that alternative way. I don't feel like I have to fight. And it's interesting I'm saying that now because you would say, well, wait a second, you're in Ghana and they have traditions and cults and clans and cults and clans now. And they have ethnicities and traditions and cultures and And so you got to play the game, right? No, I thought that, but you're from here, first of all. Uh, but this is your motherland, and there is all kinds of realities, even in Ghana, and you got to play your part. You got to play with part of your reality that fits, that doesn't have to fit into anybody else's. It's like, I feel free, and I didn't know feeling free meant so many things. I didn't know feeling free, not feeling free, prevented so many things. I didn't realize that, but I do now. I do now. So, yeah, I am. That's why I say I'm loving all of it. I mean, it was a time like this size I wanted to be. Now I'm the size. I got to love it. And I actually kind of 
it's all good. It's all good. It's so all good. But the way I feel about life, love, and relationships, oh my God, like that's not a general quest, quick uh, conversation that I think we're going to be having. But um, yeah, yeah, I am grown up in so many ways in this two and a half months, almost three months. I mean, just rapid acceleration of so many levels and things that were keeping me stuck thoughts of it or ideas of things that were just keeping me stuck. And also something that I've learned through all of my travels and, and as a woman, you know, aging, whatever woman, woman, mature woman, 52-year woman, is that uh, you got it, girl. Like, you got it, girl. Like, somebody going to think you got it. And you don't, when you, when you know who you are, you don't look, you don't have to look, you don't have to, I mean, for anything. I'm not even talking about for just a relationship. Your vibratory frequency of feeling good is going to bring you good people. But more than that, feeling good about where you are at the moment, what you're doing. I feel good when I went to the timber yard and I, we picked out the wood for the rods. You know, my good feeling is at the market. When I, that good feeling is in my skin right then, right there. It just feels good. It feels really good. So, uh, yes, I just want to show you, like, I do, the day I got up, I got a lot of work to do. I, I've been working on my videos, making sure all description boxes have information so that you can find and go into taking classes much easier. I really hope you'll be in a beauty class. We're going to learn about makeup application for us as black women. You get to ask the right questions about your own issues and problems. Maybe your hyperpigmentation, pigmented, or it could be any other issues that you might be dealing with. Or you just want to know how to jazz up your particular face and your style and what beauty is for you. Beauty is essential. And it's going to be a great, it's $47 for a master class with Major Glam Beauty, a makeup artist out of Atlanta. You know, the Atlanta folks know how to whip the face. And, uh, but it's really talking about beauty and black beauty in so many ways. It's this sad Sunday from 1 to 2 in her case. It's in the description box, the link. It is makeup application, Major Glam Beauty, Asia Barker. You will see it. Uh, and it's going to be great. So support, support me, support. You don't understand. Like It helps the channel keep going. It helps me pay my instructors. And one time the instructor is going to be you. I mean, you got something to give. Every last one of the instructors are people that have been subscribed to the channel and watching me. Some for many years, some just started. Every single, I picked no teacher that I didn't feel like on some level I knew. I feel like I know this. Some of y'all, we have five, six, seven, I've been on for 11 years. Some of y'all, we go back, or 10 years, 10 or 11, I can't remember, 11, I think. 11 years. Some of us go back. So, you're amazing women. Do you know how good I feel to know that the people that watch me, some of my tribe, you know, is so dope? Do you know how good that feels? Like, I, I just, I don't know how to really explain to y'all how dope that is. And to be able to bring the community, like I can tell you what I learned in Ghana, and I'm talking about my own life in Ghana. You don't have a tribe, you don't have the village. It's going to be, it's going to be sad and lonely. The tribe and the village is everything. And I'm bringing you the tribe, bringing you something, but I come to you for free. So you're still getting me all, all up and down these three YouTube channels. That's three YouTubes. You got opportunities. They're like, okay. So what I ask is because I'm starting a new business with the instructors, so my classes are not filled yet. I'm also wanting to just give you the, what I got and stop trying to hold it and piece it and sell each thing that I personally can tell you. I want to give it to you. And what I hope in exchange is that you're able to give me a, give a donation from your, you can use my Cash App, my PayPal. And that's how we're doing it. I just want to remind people why I'm just giving it all. I'm not stopping. The pre videos are going as long as they want. I got three channels. I'm giving you, asking your questions because I can't be stifled when I get on YouTube. When I turn on YouTube, it's because in that moment, I'm feeling spirit running through me. I'm feeling creative. I got to do it then. When I was doing the classes, because it was the timing, I could have been inspired five hours before, but now it's that time and I got to, it's just, it was a little too, a little too rigid in some ways, some ways, not all. So now I can just, plus I was talking on YouTube anyway, so, and, and I say that the bell will tell. 
So you all actually are helping me. That's my so my income really is coming from here with y'all. If you want to talk about all you get YouTube from the ads, or, I don't know if I don't have the kind of videos you just don't watch or don't watch long. I don't know if I ever made past two hundred dollars on YouTube a month, and I don't even remember making that. Like I'm trying to tell y'all, like it, believe me, I'm not. I don't know what they're doing when they say I make my living just getting paid from doing a YouTube. I'll be like, what you doing, y'all? Like, and if some subscribers be less than me, so I'm not doing the right. I don't know, but it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It does not matter. <laughs> I'm gonna do better and make sure things in the subscription box. You all are here. So if you're feeling it, and thank you for everybody that does. Like I said, my brother uh, that sent me two donations yesterday uh, because you love my truth and realness, and I respect you for that. I am finding my sensuality, my divine sexiness in myself. Like no matter what, like I feel like a sexy woman, it don't matter. Like all you would like, I now know the illusion of even the, the, the hourglass, hourglass, hourglass shaped body, even though some people might say, well, you have one, what you talking about? But, and you know, the curves ain't sitting on like it used to be, and it's okay. It's like the illusion of the very thin body being sexy or the very thick body. Being sexy. I'm telling you, it's an illusion. When you are in your divine femininity and your sensuality and your sexiness, you just exude it and you feel it. And that feeling good about yourself allows you to feel good about your beauty. And just that experience of so everything becomes this heightened thing. Everything becomes something that opens you up to your sensuality, even sexuality. And uh, it's just, anyway, I could do a whole class on sensuality, sensuality as a black woman, American woman in Ghana. That, that one, because I want to go there. I want to get a little raunchy if I have to. I want to tell my business, and, but I don't want to do with everybody. So I just don't, don't want to deal with everybody. So the once the fifth, uh, I'm going to do a master class, and it's going to be on uh, sensuality, sexuality, and the black woman over 50 in Ghana. Like, I mean, what? Because, I mean, I'm meeting a lot of us over 50 in Ghana. Some moved in their 50s and 60s to Ghana, and we still want to have it, okay? So what did that look like, and what I experienced, and what had, I feel like I am so free right now and I just want to share with y'all, and I want to do a master class on it so I could talk freely, but also I could hopefully open you up a bit and just show you my uh, massive transformation, revelation, healing that has taken place that I, I just couldn't share here. But it's a master class on Sunshine Sexuality in, as a woman over 50 in Ghana. It's very, very important. My whole shift is just. Mm. It's amazing. It's amazing. So, so yes, I want you today to flaunt it, love it, whatever you got, however you work in it, whatever it's looking like. It's yours, honey. It's beautiful. It's sexy. It's a Lori. Well, this is you. What? This is you. Don't forget that. It's all you, honey. It's all you. It's all you. <laughs> Don't forget it. Never forget it. And it's all good. So anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment. Join Asia Barker, aka Magic Ma uh, Major Glam Beauties class this Sunday. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna learn some stuff. I'm trying to beat the face in a bit different kind of way. And I want to have fun with my life. And beauty is part of it. So come through, come through. Thank you. You look lovely. Look at your six pack, girl. No wonder Kwame wrote belly on your bow. He was distracted, girl. Do you understand? I laugh all the time. You're like, Kwame, who was you think? I'll be like, oh, okay. I know what you was thinking. He's like, black belly beauty. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hey, Babu. Hey, Babu. Uh, how are you? I'm well. Yes, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, you know, hey, I like I really like Kwame. I like I like the men in Ghana, the ones that I've experienced, because I love their very much their honesty. It's like they don't play around and they don't play games, I feel, unless they're just running a game, and that's the whole story. And that could be you can have a game running anywhere, but I'm talking about the respectable ones. So she tells America, they kind of like tell you exactly how they feel and why they feel that way. And at the same time, I feel like there's some patience at the same time. So I love it. Their honesty makes me feel 
easier, I feel happier, and, and makes it easier for me to be even more honest. So, yeah, Kwame's good people. But what I'm loving about, like I said, my friendship slash relationship, I don't say slash relationship because we're relating uh, to Kwame, is I, ne I think that the best relationships, if they are ever to become a relationship, are, should be built on friendship. I never understood it, never knew it. I had to get 52 years old to get a clue, okay, about what this is and what love is, you know? I don't know anymore. Like, I was talking to my girl, Jernay, yesterday, and I was like, oh, you know, because in the States, I don't know, y'all, okay? You got this feel like it's this feeling. And that feeling that we described in my group of people that I know describe, it's never, it, it, it feels explosive, I guess, all these things, but it's never good. It never ends bad. It's almost like saying, I'm in this bad relation because we have this chemistry. I'm in this bad relation because I have this feeling. And you don't know that that high you think feels good. Why is it bringing so much not good? So it, it's almost making me think, is my barometer off? Is my, is my feeling mechanisms off? Am I associating Feeling with what I think is good, but actually that feeling is triggered from a like, woo, you know, common quest questions to ask yourself, you know. And I realized that I think in more traditional societies, you marry the person knowing you don't know them. Just like you're dating a person knowing you don't know them. You date to get to know them. In other cultures, though, you marry to get to know them. You don't expect to be what you call in love. No, it's not in love, it's just love. You love loving them and you care, you're there for them. If something happens to them, you would be crushed. Like you need, you, you desire to be in their lives and theirs and yours. It's a different, it's a love, almost a humane, but you love them because you have a closeness. And I think that comes from getting to know each other. I think that comes from building that. When you, when you got that good marriage to me, it's like, yo, I got you, I got you, and we together. Because you've been through things together. Because this person is your friend on the basis. Most people that have been in love for a long time and been married even for a long time will say, this is my best friend. And even when we have girlfriend, girlfriend relationships, our sister girl, you know, your home girl, whatever, your sister, your friend, you love her. She sometimes outlasts all the relationships, male friends or the boyfriends we have because through the years and through friendship, you have established a bond. And I, I've never really did that in relationship. This has been from zero to 90, zero to 100. You know, relationship, met you and now we're in a relationship. Ooh, never became friends, never been friends. So nothing's to hold it. So that's what I, I like. I get to know Kwan, I get to know me. The friendship is most important to me. I, I would not want to lose that friendship or, you know, I mean, life goes on and I can be okay with everything, but I value that. And so I, I just, it's nice. It's you know. It's I mean, he's a girl. I, he, I'm a girl. He's a boy. So of course, you know, there's the energy. But I love the friendship, and I know that that not foolish enough that friendships will always stay that way. But what what is anything made of? Like foundation is more important to me in Ghana because maybe I, I this is the foundation of my of me. Africa is the foundation of me. So now foundations matter. And plus, you get a chance to really get to know people, but still being close, still. So if Kwame says, you know, I really like you or whatever, or like kind of like want to say, like, I want you to be my girlfriend, he, you know, if he did, or well, Connie does, I always remind him that, well, this is what it looked like to get there. So let's keep doing this because this makes me like him more or learn new things about him that makes me more, I made him more attracted to him. Like, it's these things that actually, the character, the things they say, or the way they, that makes it, it's like, that's how you get to know somebody. This bam and quickness and going off that sexual energy that you first have when you meet somebody is crazy now when you think about it to base, that's going to be a long lasting relationship. The relationship has to be in place and ha at least be happening first before you can call it anything. I don't know enough of you and me of me to call it anything. I don't know. Do you want to be relationship with me? I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why would you commit to that? Why would you commit to something you don't know? I, 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 want, I, want, you, I want you, do you want to be relationship with me? I don't know. I, I, I need to get to know you. And so let's get to know each other. Let's know what that is. So, I mean, it's different. Like, I, I've never felt so, I feel so full that, you know, I, okay, you know, 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's like, and let's see is not necessarily let's think together. I never will see, but it could be let's think together. See, sometimes you just want to love her too. Sometimes, you know, it's you, you, you helping each other out. Sometimes it's this the grown woman stuff. This is what my master class is going to be all on. Just like the idea of a lover and what is, does that really mean for a divine, mature woman. We need to have a conversation. We're going to have some things around that. And then also the idea of centralized sexuality, kind of what it is, and how to know if you're in any of those realms. And also the straight truth about what it could look like dating as a, a expat, a repat, a foreigner, a older woman, a black woman, a American in another country. And where you want. Because if you ain't clear on what you want, you don't you ain't gonna get what you want. So what do you want? Is the question. So yes, yeah, so if you want to see, if you want a master class and you may want to take that master class, let a sister know because I gotta come in and do a master class between my teachers and I would I would love to do that. Thank you, thank you so much again. Yes, he was distracted, McQueen. Hey, okay, so we got that. Okay, no new comments, no. All right, ladies, so like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you are feeling the comment, please do so. I gotta, I'm got i going to have me, my Wi-Fi acting funny, so i got to go see why it's not charged. I hope I didn't overcharge the batteries, Jack. I don't think so, but it could be. Um, so uh, I need to charge up my phone, and uh, I need to get into these inboxes and make sure that I'm monetizing my videos as well as making sure all the description boxes are filled with information that you might need. Help a sister out. Donate. Links in the description box. Share, like, subscribe. Come through. If you like my videos, if you love it, take a class and let the teachers know that you value them. That's why you're taking the class. So we're going to build this Black Baby Academy with our other instructors. If you're going to get used to it, I'm going to do a master class at least once a month, but maybe less sometimes. But I'm also doing a Blackberry Beauty, and I'm, I'm just got my hands in all the things that I love. And, you know, a little downtime, too, for myself. Like, I love it all. I love it all. All right, ladies? I hope everything is good with you. I free Zach. How are you? Looking fabulous. Yeah, friendships are essential with everyone, especially with men. Yes. I am learning that at 54 years. Yes. At times, we gravitate towards to men because we are seeking something. That's right. That's right. That's right. Have fun. Yes, ma'am. I will. I see you got me. Yeah. I'm learning how to have fun. Like I I always say like my whole idea of relationship at 50 at plus 50, one of the things is what's the meaning for you? Because you're not getting married to have children at this age unless you are one of them videos that want a baby or didn't have one, but I sure don't. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you know, you're not dating for financial stability or security. Maybe somebody is, but at 54, if I'm just saying, not somebody won't do that for you. You could be a young 54, like 52, or 50, whatever, I'm telling my age. You could be a young 52, but a lot of times, I mean, men might want to finance my younger. It's okay. Like that, you had your time. It's okay. So hopefully you can finance yourself. So you're not looking for that and you're not tying sex to some way of your worthiness or somebody else's like you're not asking anybody to choose you you're sexually having sex now and you're having it because it feels so damn good and you need that kind of extracurricular activity to make your life full and whole because you're a badass woman i'm just saying and uh so you need some you know badass uh -uh -uh. Some the jet, everyone's wanting to make you feel like a woman, and that's it, okay? So, yeah, it's a little deeper than that, but yeah, and so that's whatever. Like, you're you gotta say to yourself, Hey, hey, I'm in a new situation, and how do I feel? How do I feel? Who am I? Why do I like travel so much? Because it makes me feel like what? I can answer all those questions. Oh, wow. So I'm, oh, I'm really, mm, I could be that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, and then it's like a whole world opens up. You're like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait. I, I, I'm, I'm somebody else right now. Like, I've been her, but now I can embrace her and live with her and deal with her and grow with her and love her and freedom. 
it is a course to freedom, a course to sexual freedom in Ghana as a woman over 50. Would you like to join that master class? Let me know in the description box, in the comment box, if you would like to join a class like that. And I think it's going to be a very fun class. Get all your women, get all your sisters, even younger, just so you'll know. But my older sisters, I need y'all to come through to that master class that I'm going to be teaching in my academy. You know you got new hair when you play with it all the damn time. You be like, girl, could you get out your hair? No. I, I'm into it right now. Okay, so anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment, donate. I'll see y'all all in the next one. Good morning, happy Friday. Hey, happy Friday, Mocha, DMG. Yes. Yes, y'all. I love you, and I got to do some work, and I'm hungry. So let me go have some pawpaw and some pineapple, and I don't know how else. I think I'll make some rice and beans. I'm feeling hungry. I'll talk to you later. Have a beautiful, blessed day. All information in the description box. Help a sister out. Love you. Peace and blessings, queens.